Time Walk with Me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Walk with Me. Today I have another deck that features a Forbidden Commander from Infinity. In fact, this deck has two partner commanders. The main one is Ignatio of Mar Myra's Marvels, and you might hear a dog barking throughout this. I, I don't feel like recording this later, so um, there's just going to be dog barks. Ignatio of Myra's Marvels. Ignatio is a legendary 4-3 lizard performer who costs two generic and two red mana to cast. As he enters the battlefield, you choose from among a list of objects, and whenever you cast a spell within the chose with the chosen object in its art, you create two treasure tokens. Ignatio himself seems to be suggesting fire, and that is what I had in mind as I created this deck. I was going to ignore the fact that he has partner, but then I realized another color might help this deck out. That's why I added the Prismatic Piper. This commander has only one use, to splash any additional color that you want into a deck. For this deck, that color is blue. None of the actually blue partner commanders really seemed right, so I figured the Piper will do. If you have any better suggestions, put them down. So the idea I had with this deck is to put a lot of 1 and 2 mana spells with fire in their art so that they generate treasure tokens and chain into each other. I have some storm spells that will take advantage of all the spells I'll be casting. It's kind of a low power budget deck, so I welcome any suggestions to improve it. Blazing Crescendo. This one also serves as an impulse draw card. Dragon's Fire. Originally there was a dragon sub-theme to this deck, but I only did that for Dragonstorm, and I really didn't want to depend so much on that. Dual Shot. Dual Strike. Copying spells doesn't give me two more treasure tokens since I'm not casting the copies, but it's still good for basically free. Firebolt. Fire Prophecy. Fists of Flame. I like this one because it replaces itself. There aren't many cards like that in red or blue that also have fire in their art. Incinerate. Magma Spray. Sure, magma isn't exactly fire, but there's some fire in there. Somewhere, if you look hard enough. Raise the Effigy. Rescue. Twinferno. Unlucky Witness. This guy eventually replaces himself. Witch's Mark. This one also serves as Impulse Draw. And Young Red Dragon. With this, you get three treasure tokens, allowing you to play the dragon part by tapping only three lands and adding two to the storm count. You may have noticed that there weren't that many blue spells with fire on them in the previous category. Some of them are here. Annul, Counterspell, Disdainful Stroke, Mana Leak, and Spell Stutter. Apex of Power, Ardent Dust Speaker, Big Score, Creative Technique, Flame Channeler slash Embodiment of Flame, Expressive Iteration, Geist Flame Reservoir, Magus of the Wheel, Quicksilver Dagger. This is a bit of an underrated card, and that might be because it's red and blue, but it turns a creature into a source of card draw and damage at the same time. And that's pretty good. Quick Study, Rob the Archives. Serum Core Chimera, Thrill of Possibility, Unexpected Windfall, and Visions of Phyrexia. A lot of the cards in this section are not super efficient, which I'm fine with. Carnelian Orb of Dragonkind, Darksteel Ingot, Fountain of Eker, Jaya Ballard, Liquid Metal Torque, Manolith, Network Terminal, Orb of Dragonkind, Pelargear Survivor, Phyrexian Atlas, Spectral Searchlight, and Springleaf Drum. Bloodfeather Phoenix. Many of the spells in this deck will keep bringing this creature back from the graveyard. Containment Construct. This is great for the cards that make you discard. Erebor Flamesmith. Grinning Ingus, or Grinning Ignis. This creates an infinite combo with Ignatio. When you cast the Ignis, you get two treasure tokens, because there's fire in the art. 
Sacrifice a treasure token to return the Ignis to your hand and get two colorless and a red mana. Use that mana to cast the Ignis and get two more treasure tokens. Sacrifice a treasure to activate its ability again. Do that over and over and over again until you have as many treasure tokens as you want, and then hopefully win the game somehow. Hellkite Punisher. Might be a good way of winning the game with all that mana. Johan Apprentice Sorcerer. This tells you what's on top of your library, which is always helpful, and it lets you cast one instant or sorcery from there each turn. It's nice for when you have an empty hand and a counterspell on top of your library. Monastery Swift Spear. Sahili Sublime Artificer. Shivan Dragon. Sprite Dragon. Storm Kiln Artist. This gives you bonus treasure when you cast instants and sorceries, so had to be in here. Thermo Alchemist. Third Path Iconoclast, Young Pyromancer, and Empty the Warrens, Grape Shot, and Scatter Shot. Once you have a bunch of spells chained together from all the treasure tokens, these storm spells can end up doing a lot of damage. Islands and Mountains, of course. Cryptic Caves, Care Keep, Mines of Moria, Prismari Campus, Restless Spire, Silver Bluff Bridge, Spawning Bed, Swift Water Cliffs, Terrain Generator, The Surgical Bay, Thriving Bluff, and Thriving Isle. So there we have it. That is Ignatio of Myra's Marvels, partnered with the Prismatic Piper. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Be nice, and I'll see you next time.